Hey everyone, thank you for clicking on the video. Check out this beautiful home that we're gonna to be touring here today. We are at Regional Modulars here in uh, Lumberton, North Carolina. Oh man, this house right here, I toured it already this morning. Just an amazing house. So many homes, I'm gonna to try to get some drone shots of everything. So you're gonna have a lot of stuff to see from here. So probably a lot of it's on the channel, so check out after this. Now this house, all right, so they're having to finish up some paint and everything in here. And so I'm gonna give you a little bit of the exterior shot. And then uh, what's gonna happen is once everything's finished, they're gonna send me the footage and I'll do like a voiceover on the inside part. I know it's not ideal of what I would wanna do on a home this beautiful, but nonetheless, it's just a lot of stuff in there. And I think you'll definitely enjoy the other way as well. Uh, one of the sales guys here is gonna help me out. I'll tell you more about him later on. But, but yeah, I'll give you a good shot of the exterior as we come right around here. We've got huge, we got a second level on this one. It's gonna be something to see. You can see there they're finishing a lot of paint. And another thing is I'm gonna get a shot of the backside, but they gotta get these French doors replaced. Uh, but I wanna step right here, show you that we have this door. All right, I love the white vinyl with the black windows. I mean, this house is just massive, you guys. It's crazy. Y'all stick around after the tour too. We'll talk a lot more about the house, this place, all the information. This is an all frame modular home, okay? So it's taken with a crane, set up on a foundation. We got a water faucet there. We got this porch we're gonna step up on. Y'all definitely drop a like on the video if you will. And don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell. Yeah, these guys are hard at it, so I feel like I'm in their way. But I'm gonna give you one shot of this porch. All right. So yeah, they're gonna send me all the footage once every, everything is done, we'll do a voiceover. I think y'all really enjoy it. Here we go. All right, so we're on the inside. Now I've also got some really great pictures they took that I'm gonna pop up here and there, like there you go. That's a good look at our wood burning fireplace. I'm gonna give you another look here in just a second. But I love the double doors as soon as we come in. Lots of windows. I love the trim around the windows and stuff as well, and the doors. Walk up to this wood burning fireplace. It's wrapped in this really nice stone. Now this, uh, this whole, like as soon as you walk in, it's really open. We'll get a shot here in just a second. But we got the ship lap on each side of the fireplace. Notice we got the black grids on the windows. All right, now here's your really good view of the stairwell. We will go upstairs. I actually got some footage myself of that, so we'll check that out. Beautiful ceiling fan. Check out the crown molding. And there's your good picture of everything. Mm. The flooring in this house is gonna be very nice. It's gonna be that LVP luxury vinyl plank that you know is waterproof, great stuff, very long lasting. See what I'm saying though? Just a very big open setup, everything. Um, you know, the space that you have here on this bottom level is great. And then we have so much more upstairs as well. So there's your good look at the dining area. Notice even more of the ship lap there on the wall. We got windows here on our right side, and then we've got those French doors. So that's what those French doors look like once they were installed. Yeah, so this place, um, when I went, they were really still doing a lot of stuff to their homes, but I couldn't wait any longer. I had to get over there and check it out. But yeah, they sent me this. Notice we even have shiplap there on the kitchen island. Now these are very nice countertops. We'll get a, a closer look at them in just a second. We've got the white cabinets with the black pools. You can do customization. Y'all know the deal always on these homes. This is just their show model where you kind of come in, you take the floor plan, and you kind of customize your favorite colors, your favorite look, and all that good stuff. But yeah, there we go. Great look at those. Uh, I believe it's granite countertops. So 
some nice light fixtures overhanging over the top of that kitchen island. Here's you another look at the French doors. Home sweet home. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I put that on a thumbnail just over a video last week, if y'all remember, which is actually there as well. The Tillery, I believe, is the model name. Just from last week, you'll see it on the thumbnail. Actually, I may pop it up for you. All right. Here we are further into the kitchen. And yes, same countertops over here. Stainless steel appliances. We've got the farm sink. Now, check this out. They have lights under their cabinets. And also, this is where your plugs and everything are. I'm gonna open a cabinet door here for you, show you. Uh, we definitely have the shelves that can be adjusted. And these are gonna be soft closed cabinets, by the way. Here is the kitchen faucet, matte black, same as the pools and everything, and the rest of the uh, faucets in the home. We got this backsplash all the way down this wall. We've got the pot filler. That's where you uh, fill your pots. Okay, and then over here we've got the refrigerator. More cabinets, some cabinets even above the refrigerator. I've got a good picture for you. There you go, look at that. Mm, beautiful. Notice that our cabinet colors on the kitchen island are a little different color. Oh, that's a beautiful look there. Mm. What are y'all thinking? Y'all drop a comment, let me know. All right, so this is actually some footage I did. That's why if you see like the floor and stuff dirty, just know this was when they were still doing a lot of stuff. We walk in, back here's the utility room. We've got cabinets in here. That was a great storage closet that you just seen. But yeah, a lot of different storage areas in this room, if you count those cabinets. This is where that other back door is positioned. Breaker box there. Here's a spot for your washer and your dryer. You gotta have a washer and dryer. And that's where you would put it. Plus, we have the rack up above that. We've got a nice window. I love the locker set up right here. As soon as you come in, hang up your coat, hang up your bag from school, kiddos. And here is a half bath. Check it out. We have a half bath. So this home has two and a half baths. Two and a half baths. We've got the square sinks. I love these faucets. You're going to see some more of these throughout this home. Fantastic. We come out of there. We come back up the stairs. Now, the main bedroom is on the first level, but we'll come back down there. Y'all know I like to save that to the end. We walk up, but yeah, like I said, they're doing a lot of touch-up paint, a lot of stuff going on, but I had to get it. Now, check this out. This is the section of the home that is just wide open. Look at this. Look at this. So this would be like your your big bonus room, your game room. I mean, I'm talking about put you a pool table in here. I'm talking about put you some workout equipment. I always want to know what would y'all do. But for me, I would turn this into like just a big hangout area. Come out of there. We've got two bedrooms up here and a bathroom. And a window up there. To the wind. <laughs> I ain't going there. I ain't going there. So we walk in our first bedroom of the tour, actually. So this home is total of three bedrooms. Like I said, the main bedroom's on the main level. Uh, I mean, the bottom, yeah, the bottom level. This closet, it has the double doors that basically shut up top. We've got that in both bedrooms, actually. Notice our trim around our doors. Beautiful. And then over here is going to be our first full bath. We've got the same faucets in here. I'm sure they have different options when it comes to that type of stuff. Definitely countertops in these bathrooms. Uh, so keep that in mind. We've got the shove shower tub combo in here. Now the main bathroom, I'm not trying to get ahead, but I want to tell you the main bedroom has a shower that is fantastic. Okay, and, and then here's the other bedroom over on this side. This is on the front section of the home, if you can tell there was the highway. Same 
pretty much the same closet in this bedroom. Thermal pane windows. Ease out. Now I've got a good picture right here of the, of the stairs I want to show you. Look at that. That's when it's all clean and crisp. It looks really great. Now we head back down the stairs. We're going to go into the main bedroom. If y'all have not seen other homes that I post from there, I know I've popped a few thumbnails, but y'all just go to the videos. Like I said, brand new location, and they have their lot filled with amazing homes. And if you're in the area, definitely go check them out and be sure to tell them you'll watch the tours. I really would appreciate that if you would tell them that when you go. Thank you. We've got the barn door that slide that you can slide shut if you don't want to be able to see into your bath. Give you a nice look at the hardware. All right, we're gonna head into the main bathroom. All right, so we got two walk-in closets in this main bathroom. Uh, this house is gonna be a little over like two, 2,200 square foot when you factor in everything. I'm talking about the unfinished square footage up there, the upstairs, everything. So here is the the first walk-in closet. Notice we got that pocket door, if you can kind of see that. But there's your good shot, like kind of with a wide lens. You can see the whole closet there. Lots of racks. And then on the other side, we have this area here. Now, the water heater is actually in this closet, but still, still, you got closet space. Fellas, this is all you. This is all you. You can make it work, right? Okay. Double sinks, same faucets. Now, I imagine it's going to be like some cut glass mirrors there that just hadn't been installed. But nonetheless, I like those light fixtures, and I like the lighting that they put in there. But yeah, square sinks, same cabinets that we had in the kitchen. Looks like the same tops as well that we had in that other bathroom. Here's the water closet. Water closet is going to come with a little bit of a window in it as well. And here is the tile shower. We've got the shower head up above us, plus we have the wand. Um, we have that white. It's kind of like a subway tile, but if you get a really close look at it, you'll see that it's got a uh, really cool design to it. Okay, well, I know that was a little bit of a different tour, but, you know, when I, when I got there, when I was shooting the videos that day, I noticed that they were working on that house. I was like, oh, man, this is one of the coolest houses here. I've got to be able to get it. So if there's a will, there's a way, and I was going to make it happen. Huge shout-out to Giovanni there. He, he helped me with some of the footage, as you can tell. And... I just want to go over some information as I normally do, and then we'll be done. I did want to pop up the floor plan again for you for a little bit longer, just so you can see some of the different options you have. Uh, just really, you can maybe pause the video if you want or screenshot that, but you could just see. I love touring the homes that have that have the second levels like that finished out. Plus, this one has the the area that's that's not finished that. I mean, it's just really got everything. Plus, you also can see that you've got it set up if you would want to do for a basement as well. But another thing that I like to pop up is just another exterior picture that I found. A little bit different look there, you know, with the different woods and everything. So just give you another option as you can see. But this home is manufactured by Nationwide. It's called the Homestead Farmhouse. And uh, it's at Regional Modulars in Lumberton, North Carolina. Now, uh... I just really want to say I have some information in the description as usual. Um, you can use our website link if you want to get in contact, see about getting finance and pre-approval, stuff like that. We'll have our members area link where I'll take a deeper dive. Um, you know, they're going to kind of cover their area, regional modulars, and then nationwide could potentially uh, cover a, well, it will cover a broader area, but I don't know all the different retailers and stuff that they do have far as their manufacturer but regional modulars is the dealership nationwide is the manufacturer and it and nationwide doesn't mean they cover nationwide okay i want to stress that because every time i say that 
Uh, that's just, that's their name. Nationwide Homes. You can look them up. Okay. You got it. <laughs> All right. The videos here come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, 6.45 Central Time. I do want to say if you're really looking at more like affordable stuff, you need to check out our second channel. I've been posting a lot of that stuff on there. It's Collier's Homeworld. Link to that's in the description as well. Uh, the next video coming out is going to be Saturday night this week. And it's going to be, well, I'm not going to get into all that. Just got to come. You got to come check it out. I think it'll be something you, you'll really enjoy. I have so many modular homes still on the way, plus manufactured, even got some tiny houses. So it's going to be a lot of unique stuff coming over the next several weeks. So Y'all just stay tuned. Let's get into just estimated retail pricing. Now, this is just what was provided to me there uh, at their dealership. Obviously, depending on so many factors that we can't account for here in a YouTube video, but you know, if you're like me, you watch this type of stuff or anything, you're like, hmm, I wonder what that costs, you know? And that's kind of my 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 goal with it, just to give you a good idea, okay? Uh, but it depends on so many things, where you are, state, county regulations, freight charges, the options you go with. Anyways, y'all know the deal, but here you go. This will be a great idea for at the time of recording. So I really do hope I did a decent job with the voiceover. Those voice voiceovers are hard, man. Like it's so easy touring the home with like talking while I'm walking through it, you know. Uh, but the voiceover is just it adds because you don't really know exactly where the camera's gonna go next. Uh, I tried to watch it a few times, then do a little script deal. But anyways, I hope it was efficient for y'all. And one other thing that I hope is I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. And, oh, one more thing that I hope, hope you come back Saturday night. See ya.